multiply 1 and 3 fourths times 7 and 1 fifth. Simplify your answer and write it as a mixed fraction. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite each of these mixed numbers as improper fractions. It's very difficult, or at least it's not easy for me, to directly multiply mixed numbers. One can do it, but it's, it's much easier if you just make them improper fractions. So let's convert each of them. So 1 and 3 fourths. 1 and 3 fourths is equal to, it's still going to be over 4. So you're still going to have the same denominator. But your numerator as an improper fraction is going to be 4 times 1 plus 3. 4 times 1 plus 3. And the reason why this makes sense is 1 is 4 fourths. Or 1 is 4 times 1 fourths. Right? 1 is the same thing as 4 fourths. And then you have 3 more fourths. So 4 fourths plus 3 fourths will give you 7 fourths will give you 7 fourths. So that's the same thing as 1 and 3 fourths. Now let's do 7 and 1 fifth. 7 and 1 fifth. 7 and 1 fifth. Same exact process. You're still going to have, we're going to still be talking in terms of fifths. That's going to be the denominator. And when you take 5 times 7, because think about it, 7 is the same thing as 35 fifths. So you take 5 times 7, so it's 5 times 7 plus this numerator right here. So 7 is 35 fifths. Then you have one more fifth. So you're going to have 35 plus 1, which is equal to 36, 36 fifths. So this product is the exact same thing as taking the product of.